Well, a lot of characters around, you see, down through the years. And, uh, without characters in a pub, you've not, you yeah, know, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. haven't characters in the pub, you've nothing. Yeah. There's nothing as born as this than the two shrewd men talking. I've spent a good many times behind that counter. There's nothing as born as this than the two shrewd men talking. They're afraid that their life would make a mistake. Yeah. And all they yeah. can do is tell what the queer fella said, and they're afraid to say it themselves. You know, it's true. Yeah, they're always afraid of their life to make a mistake. Yeah, but the queer fellow then is always. Yeah, he he come up with something. Yeah, that I often think of a, a day I was in the shop and so the way back around seventy six, and Wexford had been in the list of final the day before, and this fellow got he was a big farmer but way up one side of Adamstown. He called into me and and he was about half ten or that. And I had known this fellow like going around as well. He was married to a great fleshy woman, big farmer. And they got any only come in and I asked them, I got on to him and he, are you down in the garage with Gore? No, he said. No. Then as a while went on and he held Was he down with Kerwin? No. He was not just the way he was on the counter the whole time, like this, and be jail, and he was not the worst. And then it started to drop about the match the day before the Linster final. Jesus, you know, it was nothing. And I come on, and he was about an hour and a half with me at this stage now, and I had said, uh, Jesus, uh, how am I going to put up with this fellow now for the day? No talking at all. And he half one. But a funeral in was hanging the same day. And Tom Wall, the bacon wall, the queer fella, and Nookie was making the grave, and somebody else had to come in after finishing the grave, about three o'clock. And this fella had still there, and he was you know, not as born as other fella outside the country, not saying nothing, you wouldn't get him drawn or all that. I got really fed up listening to there. So the bacon is a queer fella, and in he comes, and he goes, you must see half on there, he says. The next thing he started to sing was an old woman from Wexford. The next thing this fellow says to me, you know what he says? He's dull. And he got, I said to him, I better be dull than bored than he was. <laughs> better be dull than bored than he was.